What's up, everybody? I'm your boy Retro Bliss, and this is Retro Bliss Gaming. We're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna play some Asteroids Deluxe on the Atari 7800. But before we do, I want to welcome uh, those of you who may be new to the channel. If you are, I invite you to subscribe and turn on your notifications. You don't want to miss when we do any live streams or um, uh, game reviews. Uh, um, uh, we do some yard sales and uh, uh, video game hunting uh, videos and console reviews and things like that. So you don't want to miss that. We'd love to have you as part of the family. So, uh, man, we got a couple guys on already. Operation Shutdown's on here and Cannabis Kid. Man, I tell you what, you guys don't mess around. As soon as I get on here live, you guys are on here like bees on a honey-dipped hamburger. I tell you what. <laughs> uh, I will tell you, man, it's... Um, I, you guys know that over uh, early late last week, I mean, uh, things were a little hectic because I had a we had a community yard sale, and I told you all the things that were going on with that and how how busy and hectic things were, and uh, I got things going on. I I got things to do with this uh, uh, YouTuber of the month thing going on, and so I'm trying to get things squared away with that. I got some video editing I've got to get finished up today, um, but as fate would have it, I forgot that i had some landscapers coming today and they're tearing out all all of the bushes and landscaping in the front and redoing the whole front and in the back <laughs> and i got this little rat dog i call him a rat dog <laughs> he's his little yorkshire uh he, he is a cute little dog but man he gets excited real easy and so if he starts, if he starts yapping, you're going to know why my, my wife's, uh, she's actually at work today. She's not working from home today. So, uh, I can't really keep him calm. So if you hear any, uh, uh, yapping in the background, you're going to know what it is. Uh, but anyway, these guys, I, I had a doctor's appointment at eight o'clock this morning. They were supposed to show up at around eight. And when I left at seven 30, they weren't here. And I got in early, I got there a little early, and I came home at 8.30. And when I came home, the bushes were gone in the front. They were absolutely gone. Now, the root systems were still there. They were working on that still, but the front was bare. I was like, man, these guys, are, they know what they are doing. They did not mess around. And so um, there's still... Uh, some work to do, but at the rate they're going, I wouldn't imagine it's around 1130 Eastern Standard Time right now here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, what's round in the middle and high, or what's round on both ends and high in the middle, Ohio. Um, it is, uh, they'll be out of here probably by two o'clock, I would say, uh, no doubt. So, um, but uh, while we're... Uh, uh, waiting for them to uh, finish up. We're going to play some Asteroids Deluxe. So I got to get going the way I do this. I play on the A7800 emulator on my PC. You guys know when I stream, I stream uh, on my PC for clarity's sake. <clears throat> I can, I can uh, show gameplay on my uh, CRTs and whatnot, but I, I really can't. I could live stream that, but it, it, it just wouldn't look good. I don't think it would be a quality stream, so I just don't do it that way. So this is the way I do it. And uh, you guys, it's easier for me this way too because I have a dual, or actually not dual, I have a triple monitor set up here. And this way I can see what you guys are saying on the co on the comments. I can monitor what's going on with the stream and I can play the game all at the same time. So this works out really nicely. So let's get to the game. <laughs> Operation shut down. He says, uh, uh, the landscapers target the bushes. Like I'm getting ready to target the asteroids. That's right, man. We're getting ready to, we're getting ready to do some, some, uh, uh, Asteroid shooting. And by the way, there are links in the description where you can buy the cartridge at Atari Age if you choose to do so for your 7800. But I've also found a link where you can download the ROM for either your Harmony cart or for your emulator. So. Let's 
the downside the downside with this is that most people don't have the uh concerto cart for their 7800 it's kind of a work in progress it's an experimental multi cart that's not really fully functional yet and the asteroid ports homebrews and even the the um officially released version of asteroids for the 7800 it does not work correctly on the concerto cart quite yet they're working on that the problem is too is that they released a different version of the concerto cart and so i'm a little concerned that they may not the the support for the uh, uh concerto concerto ugh, cart that i have um I'm, I'm not i hope they continue with the support for that we will see but in the meantime let us get going officially captured in the house hey you know what a fish um ballistic coffee boy i am so 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 glad that you are in the house uh i've been trying and wanting to get a hold of you so bad i need you to do me a favor brother i need a big 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 favor from you i need you to email me at retro gaming at gmail.com please it's imperative retro gaming at gmail.com please uh today as soon as possible um i got some something i need to chat with you about uh it's it's very very important <laughs> all right let's have some fun which by the way for those of you who don't know ballistic uh coffee boy he has an amazing channel you, you know uh he's got a a series on his channel called um uh, that atari um uh, what's it called that atari well I forgot now dang it you know at my age they say your memory's the second thing to go but i can't remember what the first one is and i'm in the game so i can't get out of it unless i hit escape i'm talking to ballistic coffee boy right now Ballistic Coffee Boy, That Atari Show. I think it's called That Atari Show. Yeah, That Atari Show. You guys need to uh, subscribe to his channel because he has a uh, notable um, guest on his show. He has had Bob uh, De De Crescenzo, Bob De Crescenzo, who is a game programmer for the Atari 7800. He, and, who, and he, he is also, easy for me to say, he is also... Um, uh, helped out um, John Champo on some of his games at uh, Champ Games and probably others. So uh, that's that's kind of a notable. And he's also had uh, some other uh, notable guests on his show. It's it's very impressive that what he's done on his channel. Uh, so you guys need to check him out. Ballistic Coffee Boy. So... Uh, you guys, uh, I have a couple guys on here, Operation Shutdown, a cannabis kid who are um, um, moderators. I believe you're able to put in uh, links. If you don't mind, can you uh, find Ballistic Coffee Boys link and put it on the put it on the chat for me? I'd appreciate it. Thank you. So let's play some. Ma 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 asteroid deluxe. Okay, like I said, man. <laughs> With these landscapers and all this stuff going on, man, I cannot think straight. I got so much going on right now. I cannot I can't do it, man. Alright, let's go. Nothing too. I'm not using a stick. I'm used to using a stick with uh, asteroids. So my control is not good. Dirty 
rat dog. I saw him coming from the right there, but it was too late to turn. Dang it. And uh, the thing about Ballistic Coffee Boy's channel, he, he loves the NES, and I know he loves the NES, and he loves other um, platforms. I know he does. He's a collector. He's got, he's got um, um, a love for retro gaming in general. And he's not a one... Necessarily put all of his eggs in one basket, but if you look at his channel, he does have a, a love for Atari, man. He really does. Um, it's very apparent on his channel. I love that. Obviously, while I'm playing, I can't email you back, so I'll do it after the stream, bro. I promise. I need to get a hold of you ASAP. Ah! Dang it! <laughs> and that's not so bad i broke ten thousand. i guess that's not too bad i think that's probably my first game of asteroids deluxe this is a homebrew of uh they probably just borrowed the code from uh asteroids the original asteroids and then just uh added the uh Oh, for God. The mag the magma mines and 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 changed it to uh the vector graphics. But I love it. It's 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 very good. I love it. It's it's great. So uh, let's continue on. Let's have some more fun. Yet, but I'm gonna get it. Ah! That didn't work out. Stupid magma mines ain't going the wrong way. They're just leaving. Space rocks are smart, they come after you. Oh, 
still crowded. Ah. Oh boy. <laughs> I also noticed uh, Ballistic Coffee Boy, one of the guests that he had on that Atari show was one of my friends, uh, Mr. Poe Style. <laughs> Mr. Poe Style and I have been friends for over a year now. Um, Mr. Poe Style has an alter ego called o Old Poe. <laughs> That's amazing. That guy is awesome, man. Um, Mr. Post style, you got to check his channel out too. He's, he's got a pretty decent channel. He's, he's not real flashy or anything with any of his, uh, videos. You know, it's not a, a high end production by any means, but he's, uh, it's very interesting because he likes to do, he likes to do older stuff kind of like kind of like i do i i do mostly older stuff i like to do some newer stuff at times but um you know he likes he likes the atari and television coleco vision but he also does stuff on his ps5 and his nintendo switch and things like that huh. but his commentary during gameplay <laughs> but uh he also i like i like when he plays too because he First of all, he's better at playing and talking at the same time than I am. I'm horrible because I can't concentrate. I have to, when I play, I have to concentrate, and if I'm talking, I can't concentrate and play at the same time. So I my gameplay is horrible. But anyway, uh, Mr. Post style, he loves to reminisce about the old days, and he talks about his times in the arcade and how he'll walk to. Uh, you know, he'll go to the department store and, and the, the games that he'd see on the shelves and how he, him and his, his, uh, brothers and, uh, you know, the, what he'd have under the Christmas tree. And, you know, he's, he's, a he, to this day, he, he works in a steel mill right now. He's a blue collar guy and, uh, he just, he's just, he's just a working stiff, you know, and he comes home and he like, he just likes to play video games. He's got a channel and, and, um, he loves to do it, man, but he's, he's, a, he's an amazing guy. But I, when I saw that, uh, ballistic coffee boy had interviewed him, I don't even know how you guys hooked up, but, uh, I thought that was really cool, but yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, they're both, they're both, they're both great guys. So yeah, I thought that was small world. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I don't know how you guys hooked up, but yeah, I've known Mr. Postal for a little while. All right, let's continue on. Oh, I have a shield. I didn't realize I had a shield. I thought it was. I thought it might. I might have hyperspace. That's one reason I haven't been trying. I don't like hyperspace at all. I don't believe it. I love shields. Dirty dog. Oh, I bounced. You see, I bounced. I love it. Oh, it got me again.
here. Hitting the button wrong or something. Like I said, I'm using a gamepad. I don't like that. You see, my joy stick. <laughs> All right. All right, thanks for letting me know. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, stop the game because the audio of the game is louder than me. Apparently, we don't want that. And get lost games is in the house. So, I don't think, let's see, all right. Ah, I didn't get far enough away. Dirty dog. Ah! If I ready to do a rage re it's too late to do a rage reset. Okay. <laughs> I did um, Space Rocks yesterday, and I was trying to think of a game. I was really, really, really trying to get a hold of Ballistic Coffee Boy. I really was. I wanted to get a hold of him so bad. I thought the only way I'm going to get a hold of him, because I knew he was a subscriber to the channel, was I got to do an Atari game. Because if I do an Atari game, then he's probably, he might jump on. And so, yeah, sure enough, he jumped on today. <laughs> I knew better. I knew better. What was I doing? What was that sound? Like, you are a loser. Oh, I thought I hit that thing. Man, I'm going from bad to worse. the magma mine yet. Whoa! That was close. What in that heck? I 
Out of control. Can't control. Ah. Uh, this dumb gamepad is not the way to play this game for me. Dang it. Once I start moving, I, I lose it. I have to be stationary. Nickel cubicle on the NES. I don't know what that is. I bet uh, ballistic, ballistic Copy Boy does because he's a NES freak. Now, the story with me is I never had an NES. I'm 57. I came up with the 2600. And as a 18-year-old, uh, I bought a 800XL. I had a few games, but I basically taught myself basic programming and then went into college. And um, didn't really have any games to speak of until after um, I got married and I got a Sega Master System. But the, even then, I only had a few games. I, I think I made 15 games or something. And I didn't really play them that much because I was I had a family I was working. I had a couple, you know, I got a kid, and I and then it wasn't long after that that uh, I got into PC gaming and stuff. And it, it, when my kids got older, I had networked my The computers got networked at home. I got three computers at two boys. We we networked them. Old school with the IP addresses, manually configured. That that was the way we did it old school back in the day, man. And uh, we played like Quake and. Red Alert and Unreal and Dark Rain and Man to Conquer and KKND and I can't remember all the games we had. And I did eventually get the kids a um, Super Nintendo and I played it with them. I did. I played it with them. But. I was a working guy. I had to work the job I had. For years I worked the night shift. Ah, dang it. And um, many weeks I'd work 60 hours a week. Ah, dirty rat dog. Could get around him. 
Ah! You forget I got a shield, but the problem is if with all these going around and be bouncing around so much, I'd die anyway. Ah! Shoot, I went forward. They want to? I tried to pull back. Ah! Let's see. Steeplechase. <clears throat> That's one game I don't I don't I don't think I still have a steeplechase. But I I have the ROM of that and I think I've played that. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I think that's one of the most frustrating games I've ever played because if you don't jump over the the gate right, it's almost like the horse is bending down to take a dump or something. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Oh man. But yeah, I played I played my Super Nintendo with the boys. And eventually they got him a PS1 and Game Boy and You got to be joking. I'm not thinking that thing's gonna run into me. I was just taking for granted it wouldn't shoot me. Think, how did, it like exploded on the side there. I didn't even shoot it. All right. <laughs> Let's continue on. Hey, officially captured. Thanks for stopping by, brother. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for stopping by. Ah. Dog, you got to be joking me already. I didn't even hit a thousand points yet.
No, I didn't want to move. I didn't want to move. If I start moving, I'm in trouble. This D-pad is not good, man. I started moving, I didn't want to move. You know what? Atari has an um uh, um Ballistic Coffee Boy is probably more uh, informed than I am on all this because he's in the know. Atari's been acquiring a lot of rights to a lot of games. <clears throat> they inquire they acquired a lot of the M network games uh, that they could. Um, there's some that they didn't have the rights to, like um, He-Man, Burger Time. Some of those they couldn't, but a lot of the old, uh, the other ones that um, were uh, put on the Atari, I think, uh, they may start putting on some of these flashback units or they might put on uh, the VCS now uh, or some of the uh, future collections. I, th I think that'll be kind of nice. Yeah, and network is uh, Mattel Electronics. That's right. Ah. I, I I hit the problem is if you hit forward you you thrust forward but, but I have to turn so my the they're right beside each other no oh, no Thought the angle was I could I was gonna hit it. I was totally wrong.
Jay's in the house. What's up, Jay? Thanks for stopping by. All right. Let's play some more. Didn't turn around quick enough. I try to, it, when I want to go forward, I won't, I can't. Retarded. Whoa! Dang it. Let's keep going, man. You know what? This is an excellent game. You guys, if you have a 7800, stop by the Atari A store and get it, man. I am. <clears throat> I didn't have the link in the description, but if you guys Google uh, Trevor's ROM pack, Download it and then download the A7800 uh, emulator for your PC. Or I, I can't really get it going on my Mac, but for your PC, you'll have fun all day with this bad boy. Are you kidding me? Cheaters. Bunch of cheaters.
Oh, it bounced. Oh, yeah, yeah I used to. I don't like that, how you respond. You start flashing how, oh. I just now noticed that you respond, that it, like you'll respond, you'll respond and you'll start flashing like you do sometimes in um, like platform games, especially like the NES uh, 8-bit and uh, above. And you might be right in the middle of an asteroid and then you'll explode. Once you stop flashing, you'll just, if you're in the middle of the asteroid, you just die. Losers. All right, Ballistic, nice. To, um, thanks for stopping by. Um, sorry you have to run. I will uh, email you. Please uh, check your email. Um, this I'll be done here probably in about 10, 15 minutes or so. As soon as I get off here, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot you an email. Uh, I got I got uh, some things I gotta talk to you about your channel. Um, we gotta talk. So um, we will uh, we will we will hook up and, and talk about your channel, bro. But anyway, you guys who are um, on here, please 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 uh, check out Ballistic Coffee Boy's channel uh, on YouTube and subscribe. He's got an amazing channel, especially if you love Atari stuff. Uh, he's got a great uh he's got a great interview channel called that atari show uh, he's got some great guests that get on there uh very informative so uh check it out thanks for stopping by let's play some more uh asteroids deluxe what's wacky saying the Yeah, it's best to shoot them when they're away from you because they won't blow up in your face. I know. I get rambunctious, man. <laughs> That's my problems. That's my problem, so. And, and the later levels are so many of them. Sometimes you just got to shoot them when you can. And, you know, I I got to say that a lot of people have criticized the 7800. That wasn't even touching. I'm mad now. That wasn't even touching. The sprites weren't even touching. That's a, a prime example of what a wacky was saying. I I didn't listen very well, did I, wacky? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. That wasn't a good game at all. What? I don't like the control pad. The D-pad for this kind of game is not good. Now, my buddy, I, I just did a review. If you guys haven't checked it out, I, I just posted a review about a week ago for a um, arcade-style control stick for the 7800. It would be perfect for this game. But I can't do it on my PC. Although I do have one I could could have used, but
goes Wes right in there. Couldn't turn in time. Dirty dogs. Ah! Oh, I thought I was dead. Twenty points away from another guy too. Well, <laughs> guys have been playing for about an hour, and that's usually how the streams go for about an hour. So, um, anyway, I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for showing up. Um, if you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe. Uh, uh, we love to do these kind of streams, and uh, you guys, I couldn't do it without you. So. Um, uh, we'll do this again. We'll do this again. I got some uh, landscapers outside. I gotta gotta tend to and see how things are going. So uh, with that, you guys have an awesome day, and we'll do this again soon. So take care. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.